We have so far covered adding styles in line and also using internal style sheets. The third and final type is a external style sheet. We've seen in the last video that a limitation of using internal style sheets is that they only apply to one web page. We don't want to repeat the header and footer styles for each page, so we can add them to an external style sheet, rather than them only applying to our index page, which we see at present. We can do this by creating a new file inside of our project folder. So I'm going to click on this icon here to open up the sidebar. And then I'm going to create a new file by clicking on this icon here. I'm going to call this styles.css. The name is up to you, but it must have the .css extension. And then hit enter. I'm just going to save this into the root of our project folder, along with this index and all the other HTML pages. We can also add a CSS folder if we have multiple style sheet files. Then we can go over to the index page and cut the styles which we've already had. So let's scroll down and everything from the header and footer right up to the HTML. So cut this out, but I'm just going to leave these style tags in place and then paste these in the styles.css file that we just created. Hit save. If we go over to the browser and then hit refresh, we see no styling is applied at all now. This is because we need to link this new CSS file to the HTML files we want it to apply to. So let's go ahead and do this now. So over in the index.html, we can remove these style tags and in place, I'm going to add the link element. The link has no closing tag and we can add two attributes. The first is rel and we add equal style sheet. Rel equal style sheet describes the relationship of the link document to the current one and we are linking a style sheet. Then the href attribute, which you should be familiar with from when we looked at links. This is the path to the CSS file which we just created. This is in the same directory as the index page, so we can just add the name of styles.css. If we had it in a CSS file, we will need to add CSS as a file path before the file. So let's just remove that and give that a save. So now refreshing should introduce our styles back onto the page. We should still see if we go over to our other pages, such as contact, that none of these styles still apply. We can change this by linking to all of the pages using this same link here. So I'm just going to copy this and then add this to the contact.html. This is going to be right at the top as well, just after the title. And then the same for the product detail, right at the very top below the title, paste this in. Now if we go to see these other HTML pages in the browser, so we have our home page, and let's try the contact page, and our styles still apply there. It does look a little small, I think we're just zoomed in with the browser there. Yep. So our home page is all working, the contact us page, and we still have the styles for the header and the footer. And finally, let's go back to the home page and select the product detail and our styles apply to this page too. This is how we can add external style sheets to our project. Next, we'll look at adding Google fonts.